video, we're going to show you how to operate our Nerf Phoenix laser tag system. First, we're going to set the guns up to either indoor or outdoor mode, depending on where your party is. Next, we're going to set our strength to either 10 or 25. Strength is just the amount of lives you have, so 10 is for shorter matches, 25 is for longer matches. Next, we're going to turn the taggers on to either solo, team 1, or team 2. If you want to play free for all, set all the taggers up to solo. And if you want to do team battle, make sure all the blue guns are on the same team and all the gold guns are on the same team. In this video, we're going to set all the blue guns up to team 1. So the gold guns will be set up to team 2. Once you set that up, you will see the loading LED lights. To initiate the countdown to begin the match, simply press the trigger one time. Every gun has a red circle on the top. This is the sensor that you want to aim at to take out the opponent's lives. You will see your ammo on the right side displayed and the strength on the left side. Once you point, aim, and shoot your gun at the opponent's sensors, you will have a limited amount of bullets to use. Once you are out, you have to reload. To reload, simply press forward on the orange lever with your thumb to pop out the magazine and pop it back in with the palm of your other hand. And now you can resume fire. If you're getting shot at and you have nowhere to hide, you can activate the shield by pressing forward with your index finger on this other orange button and holding it down. During this time, you may get shot at, but you won't lose any lives. To win the match, you either have to have the most players standing at the end of regulation in team battle or be the last person standing in free for all. Once you're out, your gun sensor will stay lit up red and you will not be able to fire a weapon. To reset the matches and start over, simply turn the gun back off and back on to your desired team. And that is it. Go out and have some fun.